All right, we've rebooted our computer. We're now outside of Windows 10, waiting for the computer to boot up. I'm pressing the delete key to enter the BIOS. All right, now we're in our BIOS. We're gonna move over to the boot section. And here we're going to enable our thumb drive so that we'll have access to boot to it. All right, now we've got our, our thumb drive accessible. We're gonna click that and do a boot override. It's gonna allow us to bypass booting to Windows 10 and allow us to boot to our thumb drive where we can then uh, initiate our restoration. So now you see the thumb drive booting. And this is typically the screen you'll see whenever you do a fresh installation of Windows 10. We're going to click Next. And rather than installing Windows 10, we're going to click the Repair Computer option here. Okay, under Choose an Option, what we'd like to do is click on Troubleshoot. Now, under the advanced options, what we're going to do is click on System Image Recovery. We're going to choose our target operating system, which is Windows 10. And it's just scanned our system, scanned all of our hard drives, and it's found the system image that we would created earlier from within Windows 10. By default, it's going to select that one that's in that specialized directory. We're going to click Next. It gives you an option to install drivers. I have no drivers that I need to install, so I'm going to click Next. And here we're at our reimage your computer screen, where at this point it will take take an overwrite by the means of formatting your primary drive, your C drive, and restore your EFI partition, your C drive partition, and your re Windows recovery partition. By doing that. If I were to click finish, it's going to do what I just mentioned and uh, do a complete restoration based off the image contents. Obviously, I'm not going to finish this, uh, but I wanted to show you how the steps and procedures that are necessary so that you could use that Windows 10 system image to do a full restoration on your computer. It makes it real simple by using some of the built-in tools in Windows 10. All right. Well, I hope you find this interesting. And uh, remember, if you like my channel, comment, rate, and subscribe. We'll talk to you later.